Hey, new faces here. Thanks for watching. After watching this video, you will be able to install a submersible monoblock pump by yourself. If you find this video useful, please click the like button, share this video with your friends. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Let's have a look at the important things that you need to install a submersible monoblock pump. You need a submersible monoblock water pump and its control panel, teflon, insulation tab, shellac, hose clip, hose collar, cable, hose and drop. Let's get started. First of all, remove suction and delivery packing before installation. Do not forget to remove the rubber packing because the motor pump won't work without removing the packing. Okay, done, right? Okay, then take the ST band and cover its thread with Teflon and apply some shellac before tightening to the suction side of the impeller casing. It has to be done very very carefully since the Blue bend is a plastic component, it will break if you handle it carelessly. I think uh, you know why we apply Teflon and shellac to the thread to make the joint waterproof. Do the same for filter cap. Filter cap prevents heavy materials like wood pieces from entering and damaging the impeller. Then fill the motor with the cold water by opening both the lifting balls. Water should be filled through one hole till the water comes out of the other. This water will work as a coolant for the motor winding and keep it from overheating. Next is connecting hose collar to the delivery side. I repeat the same thing we did when we connected HD band. Apply Teflon, shellac and perfectly tight it to the pump. If necessary, you can use a pipe wrench to tighten the hose collar. Any leak in this joint will negatively affect the performance and efficiency of the pump. Keep this fact in mind. Also, don't forget to seal the drain plug by applying thread seal. Okay, then the next step is connecting the hose to the hose collar. Insert the hose clip onto the hose. If necessary, heat the hose and apply shellac to the hose collar before connecting hose to the hose collar. If you overheated the hose, you will have to struggle a lot to connect it easily to the hose collar. So play it safe. Then tight the hose clip to make the joint leak free. Tie a rope to the lifting balls in such a way that the pump lay horizontally when we submerge it freely in the water. A tilted position of the pump when working will affect the performance of the pump. The pump doesn't have any other support, all the weight will be on the rope. Keep in mind at this and uh, tie it tightly. Okay, everything is ready. Our pump is ready to be installed. And the open valve, tie hose, rope, and cable together using cable tie. So I'm going to submerge the pump into the water. You have to be very very careful when doing this. Ask someone to help you to submerge the pump because it weighs more than 20 kilograms in total. So, okay, we have successfully installed the pump. Next is electrical connection. It is very simple. Take a, take a phase and neutral output from the main switch and connect those leads to the control panel. On control panel, it is written where the phase and neutral should be connected. There are five connectors inside the control panel denoted as P, N, R, Y, B, P for phase, N for neutral, R, Y, and B are color codes for connecting three leads of a pump cable. Connect 
red wire to R, yellow to Y, and blue to B. That's all. Simple, right? Thank you, Nigel Bro, for your great help and support. So we have successfully installed a single phase submersible monobox water pump. Let's test its working. Turn on the MCB, waiting for the water to arrive. And yes, 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 it's working. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.